Yesterday I showed you how to find the determinant of a matrix, and today I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a matrix. So let's say we have matrix A, and that matrix is 3, 8, 2, and 5. So I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of matrix A, which is to the negative 1. That means inverse. So first we got to input the matrix under second matrix edit. We want a 2 by 2. We're going to enter 3, 8, 2, and 5. Then we're going to hit quit. We're going to grab that matrix under name. So grab the 2 by 2 matrix. Then you're going to press x to the negative 1, which is right here, to make that inverse matrix. And our answer is going to be negative 5, 8, 2, negative 3. OK, so why is this useful? Um, let's say we have this equation, like 1 half x equals 16. What would you do to solve this? You would multiply by the inverse, which is 2 over 1, right? You'd multiply both sides by the inverse. x would be equal to 32. The same thing is true with a matrix equation. Let's say we have a matrix um, 2, negative 7, negative 1, and 4. x equals negative 21, 3, and I'm just making up these matrices, 12, and negative 2. So how would you solve for x? Well, if this is matrix A, you'd multiply by the inverse of matrix A, and that inverse is found using your calculator. So A times inverse of A. And of course, on the other side, you'd multiply by the inverse of A as well, because you do the same thing to both sides. So you have matrix B, what we're going to call this B, times the inverse of A. We're going to left with x equals B times A, the inverse of A. So let's plug this in. First, we're going to enter those matrices. Second matrix, edit. Um, we want a 2 by 2, but i got to change what's inside. So we want 2, negative 7, negative 1, and 4. And we're going to edit matrix B. Matrix B is also a 2 by 2. Two rows by two columns. Negative 21, 3, 12, um, negative 2. So you can do this a couple ways. You know that inverse of A right here times A is going to be 1. Just like how 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 is 1. So we don't actually have to do that side. We just have to do x equals B times the inverse of A. So let's go ahead and do that with matrix grab B times, let's grab A, call it the inverse of A, make sure not to type the plus sign by accident, and our answer is going to be negative 81, negative 141, 46, 80. That's our answer for x.